Today we are going to be diving into some common skincare mistakes that we all may be doing and not even know anything about it. <laughs> so there are a few things, first of all, is always keep in mind that skincare is also about the care of your skin as a whole, um, not just about the skincare products that you're using. So I'm excited to go through a few things for you today to keep in mind that you may be doing, that you may want to start changing some of these habits that we all have, including myself, just to be fair. Uh, so the first one I wanna kinda start with is linens, okay, <laughs> linens. Why do I wanna talk about linens? Because I think most of us use a piece of linen every single day. We sleep on linen, so I'll start there. Think about your pillowcase. Um, our pillowcases are generally made with cotton, which is a natural fiber, so you may want to consider changing the uh, linen uh, fibers themselves, like uh, bamboo works amazing, or even silk. Those are really super amazing natural fibers, and they're excellent for just keeping overall health of the skin intact. You wanna also flip your pillowcase over every uh, every second or every other night. So one night, one side, flip it, do the other, and then take it away and then put a fresh one on. Uh, just think of it this way, that when you're around, you're awake all day long, you're walking around, your skin's not really touching anything, but when we sleep, we're laying down flat on a fabric for between, well, some people, four hours, and the goal is eight or <laughs> seven hours of sleep. So that's a really long time for your skin to be in contact with a linen. So keep that in mind, and that'll really keep the skin clean and clear. Uh, number two about linens is the actual washcloth or hand towels that you're using. Um, sometimes our own detergents can make things really rough, so you really want to ensure that the washcloth or the hand towel that you are using is a clean. You want to use a fresh one daily if possible, and you want to ensure that it's super soft. You don't want to have any rough or abrasion on, on it either, because as soon as it comes in contact to the skin, you can cause some irritation and then see the appearance of redness in the skin. So you really want to kind of minimize the texture and soft and smooth, so that would be our um, the linen kind of category to consider. The, and um, I think the next one to think about here would be cleansers or cleansing our skin. I think the top one is, is a lot of us maybe liking to use mm, those tools, those modalities, uh, so that there's a lot of cleansing brushes and little uh, silicone based um, ones that have a little bit of a buzz to them so they move. One thing we tend to do is put pressure as those modalities are working to cleanse our our skin with our favorite cleanser. You don't need to do that. Just remember that those modalities are actually are designed just to rest on the skin and let it do its action for you. So that is usually what we see, which can cause actually when you do too much and too much pressure, you may end up with more of a blemish prone skin. You'll see more signs of redness on the skin as well. And the skin just might feel overall a little bit irritated. So please avoid doing that. The other big one from cleansing, I'm sure some of you are already thinking about right now is using those makeup wipes as your cleanser instead of actually using a cleanser for your skin. So please be mindful that you want to actually use a really uh, beneficial and uh, productive cleanser that it matches your skin type and what you're trying to um, manage, so the condition you might be looking to do. So be really mindful about the cleanser you are selecting and using that as your cleansing agent over a makeup wipe. I think there's one more in here somewhere around cleansing. I think one of my favorite ones is like being mindful that when you're picking exfoliating cleansers that you just really need like a two-in-one is perfectly fine and you can again just like using the tool allow the exfoliating cleanser to do the work for you without a lot of aggressive uh, pressure or scrubbing of the skin. So before I move on to a couple more of my favorite ones to share, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. So before I moved on, I can't forget to let all of you know about those fine things. So moving forward now, so we have um, our linens to think about, our cleansing style that we're doing about, but what about actually applying products as well? So remembering a couple of things, please make sure your hands are really, really clean if you don't have a spatula or some way to dispense your products. Remembering that, you know, I always liken it to this. When you're in your fridge and you pull out food from your fridge, let's say your mayonnaise or anything like that, you generally use something to dispense like a spoon or a knife. 
want to think the same way when you're thinking about your skin care products is that you don't want to put your dirty fingers inside the jar. You want to make sure everything is super clean. Okay. So no chance of you uh, shortening up that shelf life of your products. And plus you want to have clean hands all the time. So before you even wash your face or apply products, give your hands a good wash, cleanse your hands before you do your skin care. Uh, so that's probably one of my biggest ones I want to share around application of products and you already heard me talk about the modalities as well. Um, as for the exfoliating cleanser, before I forget to share all of you, I brought up here a charcoal exfoliating gel cleanser and the reason why I pulled this one for I think it's great for um, all the parts, but thinking about cleansing and over exfoliating your skin in a cleanser, using something that is two in one that is designed. So this one's got, like this one's got cooling effect. This is one of my favorite ones for the gym bag, which I'll come to in a moment about the importance of cleansing your skin after the gym. Uh, but looking at using products that are designed um, to cleanse and exfoliate is really important. So please keep that in mind when you're going to your cleansing. Now, when we're talking about the um, uh, what you want to be doing to avoid altogether, okay, so these are just some common things I think that would be really helpful. One, wash off all your day at the end of it every time. So whether you wear cosmetics or not, your day surrounds you with particulate matter like pollution and allergens stuff all the time and it lands on our skin. You really want to make sure you're taking that all off at the end of your day before you lay down on your fresh linens, okay, your nice clean pillowcase. You want to make sure that both are, are connecting together that are both very clean. So please, please, please take off all of your day before you go to sleep at night. Number two, you heard me slightly mention it. After you go to the gym or you do workout, any of that stuff, please take an opportunity to cleanse your face, even your body. So you saw me grab the charcoal cleanser earlier. I like this one because this is your gym bag friend. Excellent for that. You can keep it in the shower. So whether you work out at home or you work out at the gym or you go for the run, you are going to have a bit of a layer of that sweat that's on the, the body. You want to get that off. Uh, so definitely consider a gentle exfoliating cleanser for that that you could use on the body area as well as the face. And then I think hot water. I know we like to have a nice hot water on the skin please go for a tepid water rinse. You don't want to go through the shock of putting an extreme heat or too warm of a temperature of water on your skin. So please continue to use uh, more of a tepid rinse. Even a cold splash at the end is really nice for any of you who are looking to do some pore management. That's a little trick for, as an astringent activity is using cold water. Uh, another big mistake, I don't know if I said, oh, skipping SPF. Okay, that is a big one. Uh, so many people still don't want to use an SPF every day. It is so important. I think there's an amazing statistic out there that 90% of all of the things that we see on our face from living day to day is because of the sun. So one of the easiest things all of us can do every day to avoid that 90% is to wear an SPF. So example here, I have our little Quay Daily Defense Moisturizer SPF. I pulled this one up because it's multi-purpose for many things. Of course, it's a beautiful SPF. It's an all mineral sunscreen, but this one is really nice to use if you love working in front of technology. So if you are on a laptop all day long or you're in, a, in front of a screen all day long, SPF products also really beneficial for that because light emits from these devices. So if, that, if there's anything you can remember is that please make sure that you're using your SPF product. Uh, I think another big one that I see is not using skincare products to really address hydration in our skin. I think one of the most important things uh, that we see as estheticians in particular is hydration levels are always really low in most skins that we see when we're doing an analysis. So one of the other easy things to do besides wearing an SPF every day, managing your cleansing cycle is also to ensure that you're using a hydrating or a water magnet based product. So we're looking for um, something that's going to keep that water content really high in the skin because when the water content is high, your skin is just naturally better and will accept everything at a more rapid pace. So not only can you topically help with hydration, don't forget to drink water, <laughs> okay? So water is really important for the overall care of your skin and your health. 
Whew. So multiple things to think about. Remembering that skin care is not only the products, but it's actually the care of your skin. So if you want to go and find out a little bit more about some skin myths, please hop over here to go check out the video.